Hello, I'm Sean Kent Hayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers, and this little boy is Truffles. Today, we're going to show you how easy it is to do an Embark DNA test on a puppy. In just a moment, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to do it. But interestingly enough, just a few moments ago, I got an email from Embark, and I wanna share with you what it says. So this email, ah, here we go, it says Embark, better breeding is in their DNA. Did you know that 75% of dogs are at risk or a carrier for a genetic disease? This is why Embark screens for 230 or more genetic health risks so that breeders like me can ensure that we're breeding the best possible dogs. So Truffle's test today is going to reveal some things I already know. So I already know, for example, that Truffle's parents are clear of the, genone, of the known issues when they were tested. I also know a lot about him just by looking at his coloring. He's going to have the lowercase bb, in other words, recessive brown, because Truffle's is a brown chocolate liver color dog. All right, let's follow along here in terms of the instructions and what they say is it's simple. Uh, breed specific health risks, traits, COI and uh, DLA diversity from one cheek swab, accurate. They say uh, mutations are tested and you can see the details here and then also reliable. So embarkvet.com is the place that you can get this. And here's how uh, you do the test. So activate your kit at embarkvet.com slash activate. And I already did this in my breeder profile. And so first we collect the DNA by using a swab in the mouth and uh, we swab for 30 to 60 seconds. So now let me show you what that looks like. Here's the swab. And here's our puppy truffles that we're going to be doing the swab with today. Now the challenge with a puppy, of course, is sometimes they start chewing on the swab. I wanna get the swab in along the side of the mouth. Hopefully you can see here what I'm doing. I'm getting the swab in along the side of his mouth so that we're getting lots of the saliva onto the swab and I want to do it for at least 30 to 60 seconds and it's okay if I get it on his tongue a little bit. I've also heard some breeders tell stories of dogs that literally chewed the thing off and they put it in, sent it in, and got the dog's results back. I find all of this amazing that what science can do but we see Truffles is being fine. He's being a good sport here with this. All right, we've got to be close now is my guess. I like to make sure I've gotten plenty of saliva on there. Look at how beautiful Truffles is. Look at his coloring, those green eyes and that brown nose and the color of chocolate that he is and the red coloring in him. Oh, I just love the coloring of this dog. Okay, so there we go. I think we'll say that that's really good. Now I unscrew this. Ah, easier said than done, but all right, there we go. Got it and put that on really good making sure it's on and now i shake it and it wants me to shake it at least 10 times and then i package all the materials back up so here we go we've got the information they want that packaged so i put this inside like so and i send them back their instructions uh, just so that they could potentially reuse them if they want to. Here's the little envelope that they send along. I package everything into the envelope. I seal it up and I mail it. So that's what we do here in order to do the Embark DNA test. So this will be mailed today. I'll drive to the post office because I don't want it out in a very cold mailbox. But I'm Sean Kent Hayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers, and I have another video that explains why I do the Embark tests. I'll link that above and below so that you can watch that one next. Thanks so much for watching.